world would go wrong. Super chat. Monetize your live streams that nobody's watching. View viewers can purchase highlighted chat messages to stand out. Ah, that's the key ingredient missing. Viewers. Especially if you don't announce anything. If you're not a streamer. And if you're playing all those games. Nobody's watching. I'll do some, uh, well, what are these called? Labs. And wait for the crowds to come in. Uh, those games. Something about it, especially after a huge pizza, after which you can barely move and you still have a mouthful of cheese. What can you do other than a bit of uh, light-hearted DOS gaming? So, I've got a big cla glass of water by the side for uh, the pizza. Uh, well, getting rid of it. <laughs> it was quite tasty, by the way. Uh, how did this work? Uh, breaking. So many people get confused by uh, this uh, this old game because the, the default controls on the keyboard are A Z and then the dot comma. Uh, the, yeah, the comma and the dot and the space to shift. People say, "Hey, this game doesn't work." I get into the into the car and I can can drive. The arrow keys don't work, which is just uh, they don't know the keys. I like that you can navigate the menus with the same controls. I never really use a mouse. Here's what I prepared earlier. Pizza means burping. I'm uh, sorry about that. <coughs> Pardon. Car setup complete with a burp. Burp completes car setup. So, oh, there are people. I see people. And then there's lag. So by the time you hear me see, you hear me say, I see people. It's uh, you've left. Um, so what's the gist here? The story. The story is I found some old text files, including a lot of Dutch gibberish, which is here. Uh, a text file I composed in 1990s. Well, I updated last in 1996 with my best laps at Formula One Grand Prix with a lot of the yada 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 yada. And this is the, the column here. So I typically ran with C compound tires, not with the qualifiers. And these are my best laps. And how hard can it be to beat them? And then actually in 96, there was the, a hint of BBS internet. I don't know what it was called back then. I found some insane times, even uh, like super hot lapping stuff I could never reach. But my own times, very proud of that, sitting behind my 386, trying to beat those. So I found this uh, this text file and I've got DOSBox installed. Uh, some of you may have seen some uh, previous failings, brief brief failings uh, in, the, in the past on my uh, channel. like to do some old gaming every now and then, especially when uh, your stomach is uh, full of pizza and you're physically unable to get into the simulator. Time for some keyboard bashing. So, 118256 to beat at Phoenix. So, I'm gonna Jean Lazy this and do it. C compound tires. I remember the keyboard, especially at my friend's house, had the A, Z, and the comma and dot. So sort of worn off completely. Oh, I have to alt tab a little bit to get stuff out of the way, so I can see this. All right. So the keyboard was totally worn. See, PC can handle it. It can handle it. Easy. Oh, 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 Phoenix. Barely remember where this uh, where the corners go. Oh, sliding, sliding. Jeez. I guess if you're not familiar with F1 GP, you wouldn't have clicked on the notification. I guess if you did, you all. What's happening here? 
Okay, yeah, good that you, that you need to break there a little bit. And if you do know F1 GP and you s you're uh, watching this stream, you've probably also sacrificed the goat as a ritual, uh, which everybody has to do before watching footage of a game made by Geoff Cremant. Probably the founding father of sim racing. Probably. Ah, there's no other way to see it, I think. The refs in... Eh, whoa, okay, not easy. <laughs> I don't remember this being difficult. What's happening? Refs on the BBC Micro Spectrum Commodore 64, even for PC, but all the early PC conversions tended to suck. I think it was out for PC. Stunt Car Racer. And then of course this one, F1 GP 1991 I believe. Oh, I, oh, oh this is going horribly wrong. Okay, well, it's your your choice. You want to you want me to talk about the past and interesting stuff, or uh, or be quiet and hot lap? Uh, well, just let's do lapping first, and we'll make it hot eventually. So 118, only 4.4 seconds to find. Okay, that's easy. Quite a story, this, in, at least from my personal sort of memory from this uh, F1 GP. I somehow I was already into racing games, mainly played the uh, Grand Prix. What is it? Accolad Grand Prix, sprite-based 2D, and this is like proper-ish 3D. And by the time we uh, this came out, we had a 386 at home. DX25. Now that was sort of capable of running this, crawling this. Uh, but here's where the problem started. First, I didn't have the game, and well, certainly back then I didn't really obtain them through any sort of <coughs> legal ch uh, channels. So typically, went to the, the spotty kid at school. The other spotty kid, the other one being me. Uh, hey, you got this game? What? Racing racing simulator? Who wants that? Nobody. So nobody had it at my school. Luckily I played volleyball. It's the only time that was uh, came in handy. But a guy from a rival team had a... Uh, could get one, uh, a copy from uh, a guy at his school. I guess the spotty guy at his school. Oh, yeah. So one day when I got home from the volleyball match, I had two floppies and a stiffy. <laughs> Hang on, how old was I? Was I capable? Well, let's not go into the stiffy. Two floppies then. And I had Formula 1 Grand Prix, which didn't work. Ugh. But I had the 386, should, you know, run it, crawl it reasonably well, but it didn't. And being such a noob, uh, I, I thought I needed more memory. Well, I did need more memory, but as you recall, if you're really old, the DOS games needed base memory. So, a part of the first 640 kilobytes, and perhaps some extended memory. And I had one megabyte of memory, which should be enough, but ooh, it didn't work. Turns out it uh, just needed more of that first 640 uh, kilobytes, and that was a weird way in the old days how memory was split up. You had the first 640 kilobytes, and then you had the rest. But your mouse driver and your CD-ROM driver, which I didn't have back then, but all sorts of stuff, had to go in the first 640 kilobytes. As I realize, I'm making this the most boring stream on YouTube. 
so it was a struggle to get enough memory free in this first little part of the memory anyway I didn't know about that so I got one megabyte of extra RAM I don't know who I bribed for that but my brother installed it in my uh, in the computer I think it must have cost a fortune back then one megabyte so then I had two megabytes of RAM in my uh, 386 my is my dad's and it still didn't work because all I needed was to get a bit more room in the first 640k as I'm still about three seconds off this might not go all that well so RAM upgrade still didn't work then I somehow figured out what sort of programs oh fail 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 Oof. they don't build the front wings like that anymore some programs I had to get rid of in order for uh, freeing up enough base memory and then it, wo it, it worked kinda except for this little thing here well you must remember this the process processor occupancy so instead of being programmed like a normal game this uh, ran at a fixed frame rate provided your PC could keep up so what you could do if you're 386 is select 25 frames per second which was the maximum and for a game back then to run at 25 FPS is quite a lot I realize I'm streaming at 60 I know it's nonsense but more is better I hope streaming at 60 would make the game run at 60 so 25 FPS and you would play and it wouldn't run at all I can demonstrate that actually let's do a real life demonstration of how this failed um, pause how do we do that so let's slow down DOSBox which is oh, control if 11 yes okay I'm slowing down DOSBox see now I've slowed the, the, the simulation of the processing speed down and now this percentage is above 100 it's close to 100 but a, bi a little bit above let's make it a lot worse see now the processor occupancy is 333 percent which means I don't get the 25 frames per second look at how slow this is I get a third so I get like 8 FPS so I drove a lot of laps like this and then why can I count the frame rate despite it being set to 25 oh. Oh. I got this up to 1600% uh, once with GP4 anyway this percentage 400% means your PC was four times too slow to reach this frame rate oh. and the only thing you could do was manually lower the frame rate until this percentage wasn't never really going above 100% anyway let's uh, speed that up again we don't want the 4 FPS version yay so by if it's as long as it's below 100% you're getting a frame rate that you've selected which is 25 in this case the maximum the game will do and I don't know exactly I think I could run it at 15 FPS on my uh, 386 with a bit lower detail there are detail levels so this is the maximum detail except for one thing look closely at the road surface oh it's textured and look how much that costs right it's 75 percent 83 percent or 33 so it is more than doubled the requirements for your system to run a slightly textured road surface which didn't look in my opinion in, in the spirit of the era <laughs> at all and I don't think there was a PC out there that could run the texture on and still get a good frame rate. Anyway, so my experience was once I figured it out about 15 FPS, which in the in DOS 3D games in 1993 or 4 it was by the time I got going wasn't too bad. Anyway, uh, where was I? In Phoenix doing slow laps having bought one megabyte of memory that didn't work because I needed more base memory at the end I got it running and well then social life went I must have played this a long long time a good friend of mine Jaap he, uh, he moved 
out to a, another town like two hours away which in uh, in Holland is uh, most of the country so we had stayovers uh, in uh, in the holidays and then they got a PC as well a 16 megahertz SX 386 so I brought a copy of the game as you did and we played it there as well and it didn't took uh, all that long for the the, the AZ dot comma keys to uh, wear out completely of which his dad probably wasn't all that pleased he wasn't a blind typer how I got the stuff I don't really know but there are some tools for this so you can run this at 50 frames per second and you had split time tools and all sorts of uh, all sorts of goodies so modding was basically already a thing then oh, oh, running wide okay, well without paying any attention to what I'm doing I'm only 1.6 too slow I can always add the, the shut up second. Oh, bit, bit too much. Well, I know my way around the track again, kinda. However, to play this realistically, I would have to run, uh, turn off the adlib, sound blaster sound, and go with PC speaker. I tried that, but that's so horrible, especially when the tires are screeching. I would have uh, ruined everybody's weekend, including mine. So initially, we didn't uh, have a sound card at home. the downside of getting uh, older you sort of I'm not entirely sure what my PC history sort of the hardware history is I'm pretty sure we didn't have a sound card and then at some point we had and I also know it was a sound blaster 2.0 mono yes there is a time there was a time when sound cards weren't by definition stereo oh ow, again ouch It was mono 8-bit playback up to 44 kilohertz. That was the 2.0 part. I think the 1.0 only did 22 kilohertz. Anyway, so but I don't I don't know when we got that. I don't know if it was in the 386 or later. Hmm. All times. Actually the PC speaker sound of the engine was quite nice, but it's when it tried to mix in the tire screeching, which is, well you can hear it here, it's fairly permanent in the lower speed stuff. That sort of became, I don't know, like a marsh, like an alien from Mars trying, trying to talk to you. That's better, sticking to the inside there. Still uh, 1.6 seconds to go, or more even. Ooh, that got a bit sideways on the, on the braking.
after this lap I'll uh, see if anybody's in chat. Oh, 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 oh. More sliding. Uh, this might be quicker, this might be quicker. Yay, alright. Oh, hey, that's not bad. Just one second to go. Whew, the force you back, making me tired. Whew. Oh no, it doesn't have any. So. Mm. Ah, water. I guess I drank milk back in those days. So, if you're uh, uh, just tuned in and you wonder what these six pixels on my screen are, we're doing a Formula One a Grand Prix, a game by Geoff Kremet. Crapment, Cremant. Certainly don't want to crap on this this legend of sim racing. Uh, 1991, DOS, 1992. I don't know. Old, that's for sure. And the reason is these. I found my old times. A little text file I composed. So we're chasing a 118.256. So that's just uh, over a second to go. And, well, if this goes well and I'm... I eat more pizza so I can move in the future, I might spend more uh, evenings uh, chasing these old laps. There are 43 people, holy crap! That's... That's a lot. I'm quickly gonna go through chat, see if anybody uh, throwing anything at me. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Memories, memories, memories. Memories. Layout, Phoenix. Oh, nobody's asking me anything. That's pretty good. Try to type R on the keyboard. What does that do? Nothing? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it does nothing. Anyway, um... Chasing lap times then. Okay, well, it seems a few of you are watching, so I better just uh, go on and ramble on as we, uh, by not paying attention, find just over one more second worth of lap time. So if you were a PC gamer back in the early 90s, this was such a leap. I mean, just unimaginable leap in quality. The graphics, I mean, they're extremely low res because all games then ran in a 320 by 200 resolution. But I'm trying to remember what else I, I played. So we had uh, a lot of 2Ds based games, like with sprites and, and, and fakery that sorta looked roughly like a racetrack going past, but it wasn't. Like the Accolade games, uh, Test Drive and uh, Grand, Grand Prix, whatever it's called. And a lot of the earlier 3D games just didn't have the playability. So Test Drive 3, for example, was 3D. But it was horribly programmed, although in many ways this is as well, but it was also sensitive to the processor speed in a way that if you had a too quick CPU it would just run in fast forward all the time. And there was no sense of car control. Stunts was a lot, uh, a lot better, Stunts 4D racing, uh, it had a track editor. But comp the graphics compared to this are just horrible. 
uh, this had reasonable detail I mean it has a little you know the skid marks and stuff some detail on the road so you had some idea of speed it had nice trees buildings and then just a much better control scheme and in fact I, I never liked the keyboard controls in, uh, in GP2 the follow-up to this this, this physics engine and the way the keyboard works just makes for perfect perfect playability with a lot of the other games you had to sort of tap the keys uh, tap the steering in order to make it through uh, the bends but this has some sort of a automatic steering automatic racing line but it still depends a lot on if you break at the right at the right time and if you enter uh, at the right time so even though you don't have full manual control over where the, where the car is pointing it's still very very much a skill thing and it follows the line quite well and you have to manage the sliding a little bit with the car setup So back then the leap forward in, in graphics, sound, playability, realism, AI, holy crap. This had AI that brought it down to even more of a crawl on the 386, but hey. You could rename all the, the just the user interface, like how easy it was to use, how well the menus were laid out and the stuff you could change, it was just leaps, bounce and almost a blown engine above everything else so the main problem with this game was that it caused some expectations for Grand Prix 2 which just couldn't be met although it was a good game in many ways I never found the keyboard playability to be uh, as good and the system requirements for GP2 were just off the scale so I could never run it properly and as much as Geoff Cremant is the, the founding father of sim racing He didn't really keep up with the technology and all his games were fixed frame rate based up to Grand Prix 4. It's just, well, at that point it didn't make any sense anymore, but let's not have that take anything away from uh, what this guy achieved on the Amiga and PC platform in uh, 1991 or 2. I wonder what he's doing these days. How much money did he make from the changing, well, many a sim racer's life? Remember that second that I still have to go in uh, in order to beat my 24 year old uh, record? Well, it's still... still there. <laughs> Not after breaking for this turn and making up all the time. down a little so flat through this little lift yeah not bad not bad 
Down four gears. This one's always slower than you think. Uh, a bit of a slide again. This might be a slight... Alright, alright. I'm in the right second now. Wide exit. Must have cost me some. Ooh. Shot a lazy bravery there. Come on! More power! Oh, don't! No, three thousands! <laughs> oh, walk down there. Tell you what, the 13 year old me wasn't too slow, or the 37 year old me is really slow, I don't know. So you always have that feeling of being traction limited somehow and it's, it's, it jitters and wobbles a bit like that but there's not much you can do about it the way I always set this, the car up is just by going with maximum front wing first and then the minimum uh, rear wing that is needed to keep it somewhat stable. And break. Oh, failed. Oh. I'll do one more lap. If that fails, I'll do a race. I guess that's more interesting at, after seeing me uh, fail and uh, run out of conversation topics. So I want all the guys watching the stream now, all 50 of you, to help me, you know, give the thing a little extra push. You can do that. That's quick, that's quick. Made up some time there, I think. Ah, 
I doubt it. I might get back to that later. First I need a sip of water and then uh, we'll do a race. From the back. That's what she said. Keyboard controls. Uh, escape. Oh, oh, very twitchy mouse. Back to the keyboard. Eh. So even here, you can still use the the racing, like the the the, the car controls, which is just super nice. Uh, what am I doing? Ch game options, race. Rookies, no. Give me some ace op opposition. Let's not do the hundred percent race distance, shall we? I'll skip practice and qualifying. This game is weird regarding its licensing. So there are p there are like 99 one levels of opposition, sort of the, the the level of opposition, and there are uh, like the the track records. They are there with the names and all that stuff. But by default, safe replace. Like the drivers, the names and stuff are fake. So that's really weird. Uh, quick race, I guess. Oh no 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 escape, Adelaide. What? Is there no no way no going back? Info. See, so here you got Art and Senna and Nigel Mansell. So, it, but the rest isn't licensed. Quite weird. Nope 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 nope. Sorry about that. Then they'll just do a non-championship race at the United State Tizzles. That's the one. I'll do. Uh, I'll just do pre-race practice to load the setup. I'm not sure if it's loaded. Uh, well, plum. Load car setup. Uh, just to make sure it is. I know it's selected, but okay, load it. So what's the car setup look like? It's uh, front wing and rear wing, and this is sort of what seems to be, be a reasonable balance without too much sliding. Brake biased, well the more you put it to the back, the more sort of corner entry you can get, but it can also lock up a little bit, at least whatever physics are in there. I don't think there are tire lock up physics, but the back end can be a little uh, slidey. So it's this, wings, ba balance and the gear ratios. That's all. Which is more than we could dream of back then really. Okay, so I loaded the car setup and I hope it will remember this for the race, but the logic of this game is uh, seems to be well done. Oh, uh, my, my, my understanding of the controls aren't very well done. Alright, so got that loaded. Leave practice. Who needs practice? Race! Alright, baby. Chasing Kurt Langer, and I'm all the way to the back. Ah, processor is capable, baby. i5, 4.4 gigahertz, capable. Wheel spin. Oh, 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 oh sorry. No sound for the opponents. Oh, whoa! Oh, I see some parts flying. This is, of course, back when F1 had a decent grid size. Ah, I'm gonna pop it up the inside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, ow. Geoff Cremant would later make excellent pinball games. The guy in front of me seems to have a broken wing, so that was super cool. You had a visual clue if his car was uh, still straight. And the slipstream, yo, that's extreme. Bye bye. Tenth place. Ow.
and I, I, I used to love this and the quickest lap is always shown and then at some point when you get going it'll be me doing the quickest laps and I've not named my driver properly though and I love how it comes up with the information how much in front or behind oh Going by the graphics, that's a Tyrrell. Oh no 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 no! Oh, that's horrible. It's also oh, fail. Oh, this turnaround gear never worked. Oh, Niels, why do you never race against AI? Well, crap. So down to 15th position. With no front wing, uh, so you notice that easily. Oh, so much speed we cannot carry. I don't know if weaving was disallowed, but it's such a short race. But I'll go get a new front wing and see where. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the turnaround gear. Oh, no, no, no. Hello? Where? Oh, where's my pit? I don't know. Is it. How, how do I know where to go? Oh, thankfully. Alright. Come on guys, two and a half seconds. I guess that's the norm. Okay, there's the front wing. Well, right. Oh, yep, yeah, there we are. And I'm last. 26 of 26. 25. Okay, could be worse, could be worse. I should take... Oh, wow! I might be lapped at, at this rate. Uh, full responsibility for uh, all the failing. Better uh, jump over the fence and uh, get out. Abandon race. Hide in a hotel. Yeah, race again. I think we deserve another chance. Uh, I just hope it still remembered the setup. Focus. I just remember, you know, looking at these the background images, photos of, of F1 cars. Just having that in a game was like wow. Ah. Okay. Focus. 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 How hard can this be? Eight laps against the AI. All right, good start, I guess. Oh no, people are slowing down. AI in games has had always been completely useless up to that point. As in, super completely useless. They would not know what to do. Too wide, too wide. Yeah, I got the position. Okay, 24th. That's one better than where we uh, left off. Still too wide, I think. There he is in the mirrors. Pretty good. Oh, 
cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. No, nope, not making it. Ah, that's. <coughs> you could actually uh, probably go too wide or be passed again if you screw up a little bit. Oh, wow, that should have cost me my front wing. So I guess the only thing is that they break a bit early. Okay, send it up the inside here. Still there. Yeah, now we've passed him. And I also liked how the steering help was sort of tied in with the AI, so when you're side by side, it'll do a different line. Nope, didn't make it. No, oh, fail! How am I going to win at this rate? Well, I'm not. Behind one of the Tyrrells, not for long, taking him on the outside. And he's gone. Bit of free space. Bennett's on there and a march. It's amazing how with just a couple of polygons on, on the car you can still recognize them. Just a, a few painted surfaces. And we're flying past. Yeah, managed. Pretty good, pretty good. But this is Formula 1 in, the, in its proper era, so top 6 points only. Still have my race cut out for me then. But the slipstream is incredible. Ha! Fastest lap! Take that! Whoever it was. That's uh, extremely late. <sighs> See, but he, re he recovered. I gave the place back. Hmm, not sure if we can get points here. I also like the crowd texture, which I think is just a. Uh, Noise or something. Pixel noise. I have to be careful on the brakes. I can do it so much later than them. Might end up losing my front wing. Well, this guy should be done by the end of the straight. in the mirrors, thank you very much. I didn't make it, see that's that's cool, I just don't automatically get out of the way for you. Oh, 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 that wasn't... Sorry, sorry! Oh, I'm being taken on the inside! No! Forza Horizon players would rewind by now. And try it again. We didn't have that in the DOS days! Oh, oh, cheeky! 
I didn't touch him, I think. It was really bad racing, trying to get by them at every corner, costing us all lap time. Well, deja vu anyone, last lap, we had the same guy. to make it stick oh wow lap 6 of 8 position 13 slipstream 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 Sliding, oh. Such a difference being two places away from points as you would be now in F1 or uh, six places away. On a close up, on the braking. Nope. I guess this will be Sean Lacey then. Might be the quickest lap. Still one lap remaining, though, and look at all these guys ahead. Could still be fun, uh, a fun last lap. See what we can make up. They get slipstreams too, so. You see them fighting, see they side by side ahead of us. Cheeky cheeky! Oh, no, no space. Ah, this is good, I can do it here. Can I make it stick? On the inside! Oh, and we... Wow, that's the end! Oh no! <laughs> oh, he twi the guy there twisted his neck. Look at it, where he's staring. Will I be towed away? Yep. One upside. Oh, they're driving through the marshals! His poor feet! Marco Innocenti! Innocent? I don't think so. I was on the inside with at least half my front wing. Innocenti. <laughs> oh yeah, and you would actually view the guy who does know how to drive then. Ah, sip of water time. The Porsche back is amazing. Well, I had a lot of fun with that. That's for sure. Accelerator time. Uh, race driver lap times. What's that all about? Quickest of all by a long, long way. And not finished, though. Printer! Oh, you could print your laps, like print the starting grid, so you'd have your, your super old school matrix printer. It's not a printer that can freeze time, but it's a printer that sort of makes a lot of noise and 
prints dotty, pointy letters that are barely readable because you should have replaced uh, the printer uh, lint here thingy a year ago. Sorry, pizza burp, pizza burp. Awesome! What a game! I'll uh, have a look in, uh, in chat to see if anybody's uh, still there and see what I'll do with the remainder of this evening, which is already uh, bit running a bit late. Jeez. Ah, so, what you like to see? More lapping? Trying Me trying to beat my old lap time or another race? It's up, uh, I guess, uh, to the incredible crowd of 44 that's still watching. 43. Oh! They're running away! Ah. It's funny how a tense le uh, race against AI is still sort of... Well, it's tense even though it's a silly old game, so yeah. Ah. I've just ran out of water. Mm. Ah, the Benetton with the slightly raised nose. Well, in order to calm my uh, old uh, heart down, I'll... Uh... Ah, it, and it remembers the setup. That's one of those things that... Now, I'm biased and I like ISI, so I've always liked R-Factor, but I could never understand that when you change your setup, you leave the track, go to the main menu, and you load the track again, it would not have remembered your last setup. I think that may, would make so much sense. I'm pretty sure... Uh, GPL did that, this game did that. So the user friendliness is real nice. So, unfinished business 118.2 is required. And not happening, probably, anyway. Ooh. Yeah, just notched the wall there. No opponents to crash into to use as uh, braking objects here. Well, I'm not too unpleased by uh, getting within seven, six tenths of my uh, all time best. Because the time I spent as a kid playing this was off the scale. So two DNFs in uh, in race mode means I mastered the track. Too early on the throttle, not sticking to the inside. Ah, 
Ah, so the brakes make it start to slide. Nah. Probably too much. There's another 18.9, so I got those down. That's close now, we're close baby! Which has never le led to any overdriving. sure about this lap though. Nah, I don't think so. Fighting. No. Didn't expect to be uh, this close, actually. This lap isn't.
not sure. Oh, oh, we're so close now. It's getting too much to handle. Hit the wall, hit the wall, don't fail. Ah, this line is should be right on the on the right side for, for the entry there. I think anyway. It's, it's probably a whole different way you can play this game and be five seconds quicker, but that's not the, the gist of this. No apex in sight so far. Ooh, wow, that's on the limit. I think this is it, I think this is it. Uh, oh yeah! He did it! Successfully took the 13 year old kids. Fastest lap. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Ha ha ha! Without an apex, pretty much, yet still beat it, so, as ever, the ultimate lap time is uh, a lot faster, I bet. So there you go, that's the evidence, running it on an overclocked i5, yes, makes you quicker than, it, than you were on a 386DX25. Oh, don't, oh. Ow. Can I do donuts? Not really. So if you kept the shift down, it's sort of like you get, you have got the clutch pressed uh, in first gear now, and then I let go of the space bar, and then we. But I've got traction help turned on. Anyway, we we got the time. Somewhere out there, there's a 13 year old disappointed kid <laughs> deep inside of me. <sighs> Let's ha hang on, hang on, hang on, just a second, hang on, just a second, just a little while. So Yeah yeah
We are the champions. Da -da. Sorry, copyright strike, banned from YouTube. There we go. Sorry. <coughs> I hope it's not that bad. Is YouTube this this bad that they'll take my life and my livelihood? Well, I hope not my life, but my livelihood from that. Eh, we'll see. My channel isn't monetized, so I guess they'll uh, give me a pass. I hope. Um, well, that's about as good as time to call it a night as, uh, as anyone. Turns out, even though your reaction times and, and general spottiness might not be the same as it was 24 years ago, you can still beat your gaming skills from back then. Or I just was not very good back then. Anyway, uh, guys, if uh, you happen to tune in, thank you for watching this. I hope uh, this trip down memory lane was fun. And uh, we might humiliate 13-year-old Niels on another track another day and I want to say bye bye but then I have to find my streaming software and turn that off and it will be a mess and then where is it there it is okay yeah guys thanks bye bye cheers ciao adieu au revoir auf Wiedersehen